Hey guys and welcome back to the United Star and we have some breaking news for you on the transfer front about a player that all of us desperately want at the club now that he's been linked with us and that is Rafael Varane. After Jadon Sancho, it seems like he's become the next Sancho with the way things are going slow, slow, uh, so slowly. But just to read out a few tweets that have been going around, uh, Samuel uh, Lucras comes out and says there's a growing feeling among the United camp that Varane will be an MUFC player in the next few days. An agreement is very close to being completed with Real Madrid. At the same time, Mohamed Bouhafsi has come out and said that Manchester United have started negotiations with Real Madrid for the transfer for Rafael Varane. The two clubs have been, exchange, have been exchanging for several hours. Manchester United asked Madrid's expectations. This week will be decisive. Uh, from what I am gathering, I think uh, Frontiero Perez came out and said that there will be no more incomings at Real Madrid, which uh, means that Real Madrid have been informed of Varane wanting to leave and the and, and and Real Madrid have accepted that as well because otherwise there would be no reason for them to start negotiations it's not I don't think they're doing this as a favor to the player just to prove that we can do this much for you but we really want you to stay that would be stupidity um so I think that it it is moving it is taking a step one step at, one step at a time towards um you know a transfer that we all would like to see and and a player that we believe would settle in well at the club because we're, we're talking about uh, a player with the mentality of a world-class winner you know uh, on one side we're talking about Pogba leaving the club but then when we're bringing in someone of Varane's caliber who's won the Champions League who's won the La Liga who's won the who's won the World Cup who's won everything there who's won everything there is to offer in Spain and on an international level um, it brings a different mentality to the side and when he sits alongside uh, Harry Maguire I, I know there's a lot been going on that it's only being discussed that he is going to partner Harry Maguire it can also be seen as he provides Harry Maguire with that much needed rest what people don't remember is the amount of football that uh, that the likes of Harry Maguire played Bruno Fernandes definitely played that but so did Harry Maguire he set records for um, you know not missing a game out and when he did uh, miss a game out through injury we all saw how bad he felt so um, getting a player of such a big caliber would boost our defense significantly but at the same time provide some key players with rest Lindelof and Maguire may not be the best partnership there is but Maguire and Varane would be one of the best partnerships that uh, the Premier League has to uh, has to offer to any other competition and if I'm not mistaken Varane is even younger than Van Dyke. so getting a player with so much um, you know with with so much of a winning mentality into a squad that is still yet to win something uh, people say that he would probably improve the defense the amount of pressure that he would remove of the likes of Harry Maguire we've seen um, you know how Harry Maguire has been taking the major blunt of the entire pressure of our United defense and that would just free Harry Maguire a tad bit and with the way that I, we're hearing a 4-3-3 formation change at Manchester United this would even ease up things for uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because having two players uh, again Varane hasn't proved it in the Premier League so this is an assumption that I am assuming that a player of his caliber would do well in in the Premier League having two solid centre-backs who uh, complement one another and who complete one another in a solid way in the likes of Maguire and Varane or in the likes of Lindelof and Varane uh, would then allow him to then focus on finding the right fit for the CDM. Would Fred, who can cut the ball very well in front of those two, be the right fit? In a, in a game where we're playing the likes of Burnley or we're playing the likes of you know, a relegated side or a bottom half side where we need to break the lines. Do we play Scott in a more advancing role where we're playing maybe Bruno and Pogba slash Van Der Beek with Scott? Um, or do you go out and get another CDM? So that, that changes the entire dynamics of our team. And it, it seems that it's happening. I mean, RMC Sport has also come out and said that Varane is increasingly close to MUFC. Real Madrid and Manchester United have started to negotiate directly and we are entering a week that could be a decisive for a transfer. The operations could be settled at 45 to 55 million. And being a United fan, I'm not going to crib 
you're getting a world class player you're getting him cheaper than uh, what ben white may be going to arsenal for so i think this is a great transfer it's moving in the right direction i'm really hoping that this does not fall apart or this this isn't uh, something similar to what happened with sancho last season if if it is something like oh united are offering 40 M- madrid 150 it's varan the guy has the caliber the guy has proved how good he is we made a mistake I mean, at the time, it may not have seemed a mistake, but looking back, we made a mistake of picking Phil Jones over Rafael Varane. At this point, if it's just a 10 million difference, pay it up, get the player. He'll make it up in short sales. He'll make it up probably by making us win a trophy after so long. So do let us know what you think about this transfer. Um, Until then, do like, share and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.